So. Eventually, you mentioned right now something very important. Um, as, as far as you know, you have, you know, the knowledge and everything, you know, because you are a strength conditioning coach and everything. It's, it's very important when someone, you know, has to, is going to move up from one weight class to another. Eventually, we've seen right now, right. an example, Mikey Garcia is going against Errol Spence. Yeah. What do you think of that, you know, like? Man, that, that guy Spence is, is special, man. Uh, you know, uh, I take my hat off to Mikey, you know what I mean? After that performance against Lamont Peterson, being the, the warrior fighter he is, he's not no, no pushover and weight. Errol just slaughtered him, dismantled him. I don't see where Mikey is better than Lamont Peterson. So if you put the question up, who's better, Mikey Garcia or Lamont Peterson? Oh, right, you could say Mikey had a better record than him, but you know, I think it's known that Lamont Peterson fought better quality people than Mikey Garcia. So, I mean, every fighter is different, but I just think it's going to get stopped bad. I think he's going to get stopped bad. I just think, um, not to say he don't have a skill level, I just think that, that at 47 and trying to come up, I just think he, he maybe should have fought a guy that was coming up to fight a natural world to lose like that. I just think it's just a terrible decision. I mean, Mikey can't lose. If he loses, he wins. He fought the boogeyman, Earl Spence. Nobody wants to fight him. You know what I mean? But now if he wins... He will shock the world. Man. He will shock the world. Then, you know, that put in, you know, pound for pound ratings. You know what I mean? Then, you know what I mean? Look at that. It's true. And the reason why I ask this, because, Coach, you know, eventually you work with, you know, with a program that it's not that you eat, like, two meals, like, of pasta, and then you're going to gain the weight, and then you're going right. to go and... and and you know fight somebody like that you know you have to i think go properly and yeah it's and a lot of intangibles height you know sometimes nationality you know what i mean you know some some cultures and nationality are not bigger guys they just can't you know what i mean you know manny pacquiao is probably the only you know fighter filipino they're naturally small i've never seen a i don't i'm not saying it's not i've never seen a a 154 filipino top 20 guy, you know what I mean? Maybe it was, but I just can't offhand. I've never seen a heavyweight Filipino guy or a heavyweight Asian guy. Yeah. You know, um, I think it's just, you know, some some particular things, it just, I think it just has that. But the moving up in weight classes, you got to be like, you know, Terrence Crawford, he's a smaller guy, he's moving up to 47. American, this is going to be, you know, everybody's still out, you know. You know, you have to get the fans what they, you know, what they want. You can't keep boxing these guys and say you're pound for pound the best and, you know what I mean? So, I mean, Khan is going to be a little test for Crawford, but that Spence and Mikey Garcia fight, I just, I just see stoppage. I just see, see it bad. I'm not taking nothing away from Mikey. Um, great fighter, man, warrior. You know, to call out Errol Spence, you know what I mean? To say you want to fight Errol Spence, and you can see something. You say you see something that nobody will see. I'm like, you know, the whole world's watching Spence. Like, what do you see that I don't see? That's, that's <laughs> exactly. He, does, he doesn't hit hard with the right hand enough, or he doesn't hit hard with the left hand. Or, I just think he's a complete fighter. They're going in with Lamont Peterson and dismantle him like that, and then all the other guys he dismantled. Kel Brook, like I bet Kel Brook will go for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I went, you know, how hard that is to go abroad and fight. So, damn, that was, that's what that, that kind of showed you there, you know, what he's capable of. Um, he's um, special. But I, I took my hat off to Mikey, favorite fight. I love boxing. You know, he's got, he's got cojones. <laughs> yeah, so got, eventually, you know, we will see, you know, what yeah. comes out of this fight and, and just to stay tuned, you know, like, like you mentioned, you know, you got your, you know, your fighters and they're ready to perform. They're hungry to, you know, we right. a world champion. And, you know, eventually they're going on the right, you know, path because it, it takes time in order to get into that level. But right. eventually, little by little, and being you as, you know, as a coach and the corner of every fighter, I think it's, you know, 
they doing the right thing. Right. Coach, is, is there any message that you would like to share with the Fike fans and everybody that supports boxing and is still, you oh, know, right. going to continue seeing your career and the career of every fighter that you you will manage? Just keep working, man. Um, I'm, I'm out of Philly. I'm based out of Philly. Uh, on Instagram, I'm Ferrari So Hard. It's spelled F-E-R-A-R-R-I-S-O-H-A-R-D. And I live up to my name. Once you go up to my Instagram, you'll see. I'm the kind of coach philosophy that I, I preach elite performance-based training. If you want to be elite and you're at the elite level, that's when you come to see me. My philosophy is, is that I feel like I'm about 80 to 90 percent with more conditioned than fighters. And I've probably got 20 years on them. So when you come to me, you better be ready to work. You know, I'm the archetype for what I preach. I preach total fitness. Um, and I show it on my page. Um, not just showing my athletic performance or my conditioning. I'm very smart and very cerebral with training. And, and if fitness training had a WBC belt, I would be the fitness champion of the East Coast. Mm, definitely, I'd say, you know, we got to, you know, Thank to um, coaches like you um, that actually dedicate, you know, themselves in order to train boxers, and you know, eventually the boxers need it. You know, right? You have to understand it's different than tangible. We have to be very interpersonal. You have to be able to control volume. We have to understand the fighter's mentality coming down to a fight. What's there? So when I come in, I train them like it's me training and fighting for a title. So it's not just, just a regular fight. Every fighter, I go in with that mentality. Like I'm training for a championship with them. So I don't want to lose. I think about what's the stake. I think about if if I work my whole life for athletic performance to, to get to this point, to have an opportunity to win that. What I set out as a little kid, the first time I laced gloves up, that's how serious I want to be about your dream. So you can't come to me if I'm more hungry than your dream than you. Mm, you know? It's a good message for all the fight fans and everybody that would love to, you know, come, you know, with you and train. Oh, man, I just love fighters. I love, you know, I'm Philly, though. I love my Philly guys. And shout out to all, all Philly fighters, man, working hard, man. Um, I watch everybody. I love everybody from Philly, all the fighters, you know, uh, you know, from Jerron Ennis to Julian to Tony, everybody is out of Shula's, Josh the Boxer, um, under Untouchables, all the Untouchable fighters under that umbrella. Um, you know, we got we got some very good Philly fighters, a lot of people coming up in Philly. Um, you know, so, you know, shout out to everybody that fights in Philly. You know, I support everybody, I love everybody. Danny, you know, everybody. Definitely and all his coaches, you know, all his strength and conditioning doses. Uh, shout out to Ty Brunson. Shout out to Ty Brunson, too, working hard. Um, uh, Ty Crawley, Conquest, Julian, um, everybody from Shulers, the other fighters from Shulers, um, everybody down at Fight Firm. Uh, I'll see Ty Brunson again, that's my guy, too. Um, um, everybody else, a lot of people I want to work with. I, I would love to work with AB. Mm, definitely, we're gonna see you know the best yeah. upcoming you know yeah. fighters from Philly, and Philly's gonna make noise again. Yeah. I mean, I wish you know also sex for oh, you man, and you know and everything that you you know dedicate to Edge oh, and man, every fighter. For the interview, man. I appreciate it, man. Just keep working, man. I'm just trying to get to that. We're chasing that world title, man. I got to get a guy who gets a world title, man. Thank you, Coach. You yeah. know, wishing, you know, the best for, you know, in every aspect to everybody. And, you know, we will stay tuned, you know, all the fight fans, you know, mm -hmm. keep watching, you know, for Philly. Philly's coming and making noise. Thank okay. you, Coach. All right, man. Thanks.